Hello and welcome to World of Motorsport. My name is Jordan Hines and this is the very tall Ollie Jackson, driver of one of the AMD tuning Audis. You've had a very good start to this season. You only scored 14 points last year. You've managed to score 22 in the first half of the season. Happy with how it's been going? Yeah, well, we've um, we got off to a little bit of a slow start with all the change over to the RML parts and um, having uh, kind of got used to it and, and made some change with the setup. We're now kind of consistently in the points and getting some good results. Now, as you said, in terms of good results and stuff, you managed to finish 10th last time out in race two at Croft, which then put you on pole for race three. Uh, ninth, it was actually. Oh, ninth. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. Um, and that put you on pole for race three. Didn't quite go as planned because you got uh, nerfed out of the way in a optimistic move. Do you think, though, throughout the rest of the uh, second half of the season, do you reckon you could maybe get another pole through reverse grid and have another shot at a win? I, th I think so. I mean, it's, excuse me. Uh, I think it's uh, the problem is just there's a lot of people that just seem to not be able to overtake without punting you out of the way. And, um, and that's what I experienced in race one here. So if, if things clean up, then, you know, we've got the car, we get, keep getting better and better and finding more and more with it. And, uh, you yeah, know, I think we'll start moving up to be more consistently in the top ten. But it, it's too, there's too much luck involved at the moment, unfortunately. Now you have something this year which you didn't have last year, a teammate in the form of Ant Ward Niels. Is there an advantage to having two cars compared to one? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, uh, it's twice the running, so we can try different things on the setup. And also, sometimes, uh, you know, there's corners that Ant does better, sometimes corners I do better, and we can copy each other and, and learn and, and move the whole team forward. Okay, and with that in mind, is there a sense of personal pride in managing to beat your teammate? Oh, it always is, yeah, but uh, he, he enjoyed beating me in qualifying yesterday. And, uh, yeah, it just, uh, you know, we're, we both seem to be pretty similar in terms of pace and uh, we both seem to, to ask similar things with the car as well, so it works really well. And looking forward now to the final few races, is there any tracks that stand out as ones you're looking forward to where you think you'll be able to do particularly well? Yeah, Rockingham's usually a strong track for me and it was for us last year as well. It was our sort of turning point of the year after a bit of a ropey season. And uh, I think that's, uh, that's going to be our, our target for a really good result this year. OK, so that was Ollie Jackson. Thank you all. So that was Ollie Jackson. Thank you all very much for joining us in this video. If you enjoyed it, you can help us out by giving this video a like. And until next time, thank you all very much for joining us. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.